So you have a Samsung Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge and you are eagerly waiting for that uh, OTA update notification to pop up but it doesn't. So what do you have to do to get your hands on the latest Android 7.0 Nougat update released for these devices and for uh, any other Samsung device for that matter that supports this update. It's very simple, you can flash it manually. What do you need? First of all, you need a smartphone, in this case the S7 Edge. You need um, a laptop or PC. You also need a USB cable and make sure that uh, the USB cable is not a uh, cheapy one. And you also need <clears throat> the software update uh, file. And that's very simple to to get uh, your hands on you just have to go to sam mobile and uh, when you get to the page just look for s7 or s7 edge but i'm gonna give a seven edge in this case and i'm gonna choose the model g935f Look it up and I'm going to get this page which is full of um, Android 7 files from all over the world. There are a few um, operators in a few countries that are still on Marshmallow 6.0.1 but uh, basically everyone else has already gotten uh, Android 7.0 Nougat. So scroll to these uh, files and uh, find the right file for you and afterwards when you've decided what file to, to download for example <coughs> I live in Romania so I'm gonna click on Romania get to this page and start downloading the file you need to have an account on Send Mobile in order to do this operation so first of all create your account log in and afterwards download the file if you are a regular user just like myself uh, the download speeds will be very slow so it will take about uh, two to three hours for the entire file to to be downloaded mainly because this is a huge file it's uh, about two gigabytes in size so just be patient this is the let's say the hardest part about uh, this whole process on the same page if you scroll down you're gonna see the instruction on how to flash the file and right here you're gonna see that you have the option to download Odin version uh, 3.11.1 which is the latest one and you also need to download Odin both files the Odin file and the software update file uh, need to be extracted just uh, put them on the desktop if you want or in the downloads extract them because uh, later you're gonna need to use them both the whole process is uh, made with Odin which is the primary tool for flashing any Samsung device you can uh, upgrade and you can also downgrade your Samsung smartphone or Samsung uh, tablet for that matter simply using Odin and uh, the necessary software files. In terms of uh, the device you need to do one simple thing you need to go to settings scroll down go to about device software info bill number and tap seven times on it until uh, this menu pop-ups and says uh, that you have uh, developer options enabled go to developer options and make sure that usb debugging is enabled without this you cannot perform the operation of flashing um, the new software on your device. I highly recommend before uh, doing this thing to make a backup of your data and also 
do a uh, cache wipe also. So it's very simple. As you can see, I already have the files extracted. I'm gonna just uh, open Odin. And make sure that uh, you right click and run as administrator this program. This is how Odin looks. Uh, so far, nothing happens. We need to put uh, the smartphone in download mode. And you're going to do this by uh, holding at the same time uh, the home button, the power on button and also the volume down button. Right now we are in download mode. Um, click uh, volume up and we'll continue the operation of installing a new software. And this is what you're gonna get. The benefit of uh, flashing official uh, softwares is the fact that uh, there is no uh, triggering on NUX and also the status of the device remains official. So, uh, if you're freaking out about uh, the warranty of your device, um, no worries, your warranty is not voided, so um, this is the biggest benefit if you want. Let's connect the USB cable to the smartphone and also to the laptop and you're gonna see right here that uh, it will pop up a short uh, message. And this means that uh, the device is recognized by um, Odin. And right, right now, after you extracted uh, the whole uh, update file, you're gonna need to assign every single piece of uh, software found in that file to every single uh, box right here. So the first one is BL. And you're gonna choose the BL file, which is this one. And you can see that it's added right here. The next one is the AP file, which is basically the most important file because this one contains the whole uh, update. And be patient, it will take about uh, one minute until it uh, finishes to, to add it to Odin because uh, this is a huge file, a very, very huge file. I think it's over uh, four gigabytes of data. And uh, don't worry if Odin doesn't respond. Uh, don't disconnect your device from, uh, from your PC. Just be patient, everything will be just fine. It takes a little longer, mainly because, as I said, this is the biggest file that you have to, uh, to use. And it's the file that uh, contains the whole operating system. Without it, you cannot do anything. And also, Another thing, be very careful not to misplace uh, these files um, somewhere else instead of the boxes that they belong to. Very important also, make sure that your battery is fully charged. I know that everyone on the internet, on forums and uh, whatnot uh, say that uh, you need to be at least 50% uh, um, battery charge but trust me it's better to be 100% fully charged so um, that you don't uh, get any issues okay so it's added let's go and add cp and the last one is the csc which is the modem and now 
the whole thing is complete. So these are the files extracted from the from the download that you that you just made. Um, they all have their place here. Make sure that uh, in the options right here, auto reboot and F reset time is ticked. Everything else has to remain just as you see it, unticked. Just auto reboot and F reset time have to be ticked. Go back and right now you can start flashing your uh, Samsung device, in this case the, S the S7 Edge or the S7. But as I, as I said at the beginning of this video, every single device, every Samsung device that supports the Android 7.0 Nougat can be manually updated using the Odin method. I will not uh, perform uh, this operation on my device mainly because I already have installed um, Android 7.0 Nougat on my device for about 4 or 5 days. I have uh, all my uh, apps installed, I've uh, configured them just the way that I like, so um, I will not perform another uh, flash. But trust me, it works, there is no problem. You just have to be patient for about 5 minutes. This is uh, how much or how long um, this whole process takes. And you're gonna see here um, a status bar showing you what's happening. Uh, and also on the device you're gonna see uh, the same thing. Um, it takes about 5 minutes. Be patient, do not, and I repeat, do not unplug your device. This is very important. You will break, you will kill your device. Let the program and the device do their thing. Just be patient for 5 minutes. When everything is done and it's complete, you're gonna get a message saying that the flashing has been completed and afterwards just click exit when everything is done and then you can disconnect your device from your PC. It may happen as it happened to me um, that your device at uh, the first reboot will um, remain in the boot logo. Don't worry, it's not a big thing just uh, enter the recovery mode which is holding uh, home button power on button and volume up button at the same time release when the logo appears and you're gonna get into the recovery mode in the recovery uh, in the recovery mode just go to wipe data factory reset and also make sure you uh, also wipe cache partition. When you are finished with this, just uh, click on reboot system now and you'll be just fine. Your device will uh, boot up normally and you won't have any issues. But as I said, it may happen sometimes. To me it happened, for example, uh, for my device to remain uh, in the boot logo uh, animation. What can I say? It's Samsung. Okay, so I'm gonna close Odin. I'm gonna also disconnect my device. And I'm gonna reboot it for that matter. As I said, the main benefits of flashing uh, official RAMs is that uh, your warranty doesn't get voided. Also, NUX is not uh, triggered and uh, the status of your device remains official. So uh, keep that in mind if you are uh, having thoughts about uh, manually installing Android 7.0 Nougat on your Samsung device. This method works with uh, every single Samsung device. I've uh, flashed so many Samsung devices in the past uh, using uh, Odin and this is in a, if you want it's the same thing as uh, flashing Sony devices using flash tool those of you who owned uh, Sony devices in the past know what flash tool is it's uh, basically the equivalent of uh, Odin it, it uh, performs the same uh, 
type of operation and uh, trust me as long as you follow the instructions you won't have any any issue just make sure that you follow the instructions properly so as you can see I have 7.0 installed I've been running it for uh, about of, uh, I don't know four five days I had no issues um, everything is okay battery life is fantastic no issues there connectivity excellent um, and of course the new novelties that uh, Android 7.0 Nougat brings to the table um, this pretty much does it for this video guys as I said remember if you get stuck at the boot logo just enter the recovery mode by holding at the same time the home button power on and volume up button release when the Samsung logo appears and you are in the recovery just make a factory reset and wipe cache partition and you're gonna be just fine and you're gonna start enjoying your uh, brand new uh, Android 7.0 Nougat running Samsung device thank you for watching this video see you in the next one until then as always be safe be good your friend Gabriel sign out peace